Today we're going to be talking about Brand. Brand is hidden OP. This champion has been flying under Riot's radar for a while now because of its insane win rates that he's been dropping patch after patch after patch and still no one's picking him up. His pick rate is incredibly low compared to uh, much more contested picks with way lower win rate and people are sleeping upon this champion. This champion is broken, guys. I'm going to be explaining to you guys why it's the case. And I'm also going to be explaining to you guys that if you want to be picking a brand, give you a quick little rundown of how you want to be playing uh, this champion. And uh, also give, uh, doing a little bit of a review of, of why exactly this champion is so OP. So we're going to be starting off with um, why is brand so so good and a little bit of a history of brand. So we're going to be taking a look at Lollist, Lollalytics, a very good stat website where we're going to be just looking at the stats of brand over the past few patches. As we can see, we're going to be looking at his win rate, his rank, his tier, and also his pick rate. So um, this current patch right now, incredible, incredible win rate. If you think about it, 54% uh, is insane. Go to the last patch. 35.5, incredibly high win rate as well. And as you can see, he's constantly S tier, constantly S tier. And it was even better um, in, in the past. But as you can see, the ban rate's been, drop, uh, been dropping and the pick rate's actually been going up. So people are slowly catching on to how strong that brand actually is. But still, he's under the radar. And in my opinion, he's a hidden OP champion. So what kind of runes do we run onto Brand? We run Comet into Mana Flow, Transcendence, and Scorch. Uh, I do not like the, these secondaries. I'm personally a really big fan of, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look down here. I'm personally a really big fan of the Boots into Cosmic Insight, and then we always run Flash and Ghost because this champion fares incredibly well with the Summoner spell Ghost. Um, because he's so immobile and combining this with Rylice uh, makes him incredibly hard to deal with, even for champions with a lot of mobility. So why is this champion so broken? I got a few clips for you lined up to show why this champion is so broken. And the reason it's so broken is because of, first of all, the item Rylice. Rylice is a very, very strong item on brand because it basically perma slows uh, the enemies whenever you hit abilities, especially with your passive. And Brand is just a nuke. It's just a damage nuke. This champion will kill you if he lands his abilities. And a lot of people, especially in the lower elos, don't know how to deal with that. In this specific example, I just reached my wireless power spike. And um, we're actually having a little bit of a skirmish around it. Yasuo baits Yas the, the Nautilus hook because he knows that the enemies are going to be in a man advantage. Enemy Kaisa's moving. And we're actually in a little bit of a... Um, three versus uh, four and eventually four versus five scenario. What you have to look at is just the amount of CC and damage that I'm constantly applying towards the enemies, being able to guide them out and uh, basically winning a, 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 three, a four versus five because our Samira is on board. And it, it's, it's really insane because I make it incredibly hard for the enemies to, uh, to come in right here. I deal an insane amount of damage and provide an insane amount of utility, utility and I'm, I'm very hard to catch if I just stay back. So in this specific case, I did get Yasuo knock-up by the Q. I didn't flash that. I'm a greedy, greedy player, not flashing those knock-ups. But you get the ID. This champion deals a lot of damage and has a lot of utility. So where does all this champion's damage come from? It mainly comes from his passive. And he uses his abilities in these team fights to proc his passive. He mainly spikes at two items. Leon Vispus Rylas is one of the biggest spiking champions I've seen in a while. But also, whenever he just has the Rylas and he gets a good quality ultimate off that can actually proc his passive in these team fights, that's where his damage mainly comes from. So let's take a look at this example right here. Um, we're getting ganked by the Belveth. It's once again a disadvantageous fight right here. Missing all my abilities. It doesn't really matter. I just press R onto the Belveth right here and see what happens. They just get exploded by by my passive. It's not like I'm doing anything anything crazy, anything spicy. I just land at my ult and they just die. This is a champion that just wins games, guys. This champion is just a winning machine because of the amount of damage that you do. It is a, a target that is a must kill for the enemy players. 
and if they don't kill you, you're just going to be de dealing out an insane amount of damage that the, that the enemies cannot deal with in front-to-back teamfights. So we're going to be taking a look at an early game that I played as Brand versus Ari. And this really shows why Brand is also so incredibly good, because his laning is very uninteractive, uh, very easy to play, and he just has a lot of threat onto the enemy champions. So in this case, I'm laning versus Ari. The reason why Brand's lane is so obnoxious is because of his W into E com combo. This is a, his bread and butter trading combo, and it's not interactive, undodgeable if you time it well, and especially in the lower elos, like uh, below like 400 LP master, none of the enemies will understand where your damage comes from. And it, even in this um, master game right here, this Ari just does not understand where to position to avoid my damage. So I'm just constantly Wing onto the creeps, ideally hitting Ari as well, Eing onto the creeps. And as you can see, she, she's just incredibly uh, flustered of where my damage is all coming from. And I'm just Wing the creeps, Eing them to increase the spread. And as you can see, this Ari right here, I'm getting ganked by the bell. I sadly missed my knockup. Um, my, my damage is just, and my poke is just really, really insane. And it's very hard for this Ari to, uh, uh, to deal with me. So I do a nice Q into E combo and I turn this gank in, into a little bit of a 1v2. And eventually I dodge out onto, onto the bell of F here. And you can see this, this champion is, is in a menace in lane as well. And that's what makes Brand so interesting is he's, he's super good in lane. There's very clear reference points in lane in which he wants to be poking his enemies. But also in these team fights, he's a monster as well because of the insane amount of damage that he deals. So into this Ari, once again, just W the caster creeps and then E onto them. In this specific case, he dodged out onto it pretty well. And I just want to be proccing my passive. Next E is going to be onto the Ari right here um, because it's very non-interactive, very high ranged. Look, look at the range of this. Like she tries to tether it. Uh, because this guy got a pretty good idea of what I've been doing to him. And look at the damage. You max E. <laughs> it's very, very stupid. And then also it procs your passive. And the, the amount of damage it deals is it's, it's really insane. Um, the beauty about Brand as well is you don't need to buy mana items. Because his passive basically restores mana for you. So I hope this uh, shows a pretty decent picture of, um, of this champion Brand. Let me know what you guys think of this champion. Let me know if you guys try it and if you like him and if there's any other broken champions feel free to let me know as well i'm always curious to get to your guys takes um if you want more information on brand right one thing that i would recommend is check out the coaching platform that i work with it's the mid lane academy and the mid lane school and we have a very in-depth detailed brand guide on that platform so if you decide to pick a brand and you want to get even better at this champion uh, I recommend you check out that. So let me know if you guys have any questions and otherwise I'll see you guys real soon with a new video.